Hi kids, today today we will continue our learn about condensation. Please check your book and see this video. Have you ever seen your bathroom mirror miss up after a hot shower like this? Do you know how the mist on the mirror is formed? So check this. I have ice, glass, and then water. Put ice in the glass and then water. After that, can you see what in the other surface of the glass? Yes, that is water droplets. Do you know where do the water droplets come from? Yes, water droplets are form when water vapor in the air cools and changes into water when it meets in the cool surface of the glass. Let's try, Let's try again. Teacher punya es, gelas dan air. Kemudian masukkan es ke dalam gelas dan tuangkan air. Kita lihat beberapa saat apa yang terjadi pada permukaan gelas. Nah, kamu lihat pada permukaan gelas itu ada muncul water droplets atau tetesan-tetesan air. Tetesan-tetesan air itu berasal dari uap air yang berada di sekitar udara di sekitar gelas yang mengembun dan berubah menjadi air atau water droplets ketika bersentuhan dengan permukaan gelas yang dingin. Jadi, water droplets atau tetesan air yang ada di luar permukaan gelas itu tidak berasal dari es yang ada di dalam gelas Tetapi berasal dari uap air yang mengembun dan kehilangan panas Ketika bersentuhan dengan permukaan gelas ya You must remember ya anak-anak teacher So we know that condensation is different with evaporation Condensation is the change of a gas into a liquid to take place when matter loses heat And then evaporation is the change of a liquid into a gas is take place when metal gains heat. And then the example of condensation is you drops on the leaf in the morning. Jadi embun titik-titik embun pada daun di pagi hari ya. That is example of condensation. And then please do your exercise page 21, number 1 until number 3. Thanks for watching and God bless you my kids.